What is something NSFW you've done but if you told anyone they would probably never want to talk to you again? When I was 19 I paid $350 for the services of a woman of the night. I left and went to a friend's house where they were having a party I got very drunk and realized I left my phone charger at this woman's motel. So I took an Uber back and she wouldn't let me back in again unless I paid so I gave her another $350 did the dirty deeds and grabbed my charger and left. It wasn't until the next day I realized I could've just spent $10 on a new charger. Man I wouldn't even catch an Uber a short distance for a phone charger. Phone charger no longer in my possession? It's dead to me. I was pretty messed up that night and completely devoid of any form of logical thinking whatsoever. The real NSFW was poor financial management. Not safe for wallet. I had a girlfriend in college who had a cum fetish. She would jerk me off into her toothbrush and sit there and keep it in her mouth while we watched Dr. Dot House save lives on TV. A few times she jerked me off into her food. That was weird. I saw her on Facebook a few years ago. She sells bath bombs and stuff like that. I wouldn't buy from her though. I had an ex-girlfriend that would suck my dick and finish me on her chocolate chip cookies. Fun times. I think it's crazy how many people are admitting their deepest secrets just because someone on the internet asked them to anyways, my girlfriend likes to degrade me, and I let her edit, I hate you all. I think it's crazy how many people are admitting their deepest secrets oh these aren't their deepest secrets. My first time ejaculating was when I was playing The Sims 2 after discovering that the blur disappears when you used move objects and then pull your sim out of the shower. Would make hot and attractive sims just so I could see them naked. Tracy Morgan taught me how to jerk off. When I was 12, he had a stand-up special on Comedy Central. One joke he told was about waiting for his wife and kids to leave the house so he could whack it in peace. He used the microphone to mimic the act. I had come before that, but never on purpose. When I saw him doing that it was like a light bulb went on in my head. I immediately went upstairs to my bathroom and discovered my new hobby. A friend of mine taught me. He hadn't hit puberty and loved to ask me shit. This one time he was like I don't get the deal with masturbation I was like yeah me neither. I mean what's so nice about pulling your foreskin back and forth repeatedly over your dickhead anyway? Uh. Yeah, right? After that I went home and came so hard I couldn't walk properly for the rest of the day. I didn't even know what it was until I was like 14 to 15 and on forums and people would talk about fapping and I was like wait is that what I've been doing? I had to go bad, and felt my inner colon painting I ran into the supply room and shit in a box. It was horrible, smelled so pungent too. I dumped a bunch of random stuff inside and taped the box closed and carried it out, like I was getting needed supplies. Well, thank you for getting rid of it. Much more considerate than other people. I had a year and a half long relationship with my best friend's mother. We've never told anyone. Yes, that's one to take to the grave. Yeah, I'll never tell. Your eyes might have given you away when your friend called you a mother ducker. I paid for Winrar back in 2006. That there is a lot to unpack. I used to come onto the inside of a pair of boxer shorts so my GF at the time could wear them to work and rub herself while standing behind the bar. Her thing and I don't judge. How does the convo around that go? Like bae could you jizz here so I can keep it for later? Two possibilities. One would be a sober conversation about things they'd like to try sometime. The other would be a heat of the moment you know what would be so hot? If a girl makes those eyes at you and asks you to come inside a pair of boxer shorts so she can wear them to work, you're gonna jizz in some boxer shorts. Like that old joke where the girl says are you as turned on as I am right now? And the boy says I am now that you said that. Even if blasting into boxer shorts isn't your thing, the fact that she's asking you to do something that turns her on will get you into it. I used and abused my friend's flashlight. I had to throw it away and I never told anyone. To this day his friend doesn't know what he did wrong for his flashlight to leave him. I wonder when the BuzzFeed article is coming out? Definitely going to be a voiceover video on TikTok with Subway Surfer in the background. Or a YouTube short with Minecraft parkour. I'm a 45-year-old man. I live in a co-op apartment building in New York City. I worked on a building beautification project with a fellow resident about six months ago. 
I'm guessing she's about 30 years my senior. All during the project we shared a lot of laughs and formed a comfortable friendship. At the end of the project, she invited me to her apartment for dinner. We shared some great conversation and a lot of wine. At some point while I was talking, she put her hand over mine which I was resting on the table. She leaned in for a kiss and I reciprocated. We had sex that night. It was good sex too. A week or so later she called me up and asked if I could change a light bulb in her ceiling. It was a pretext for us to have sex again. Since then, we've established a relationship where she texts me requesting some help, I go over to her place and we have sex. If I told anyone in my life that I'm having a sexual relationship with a woman in her mid-70s, I'm not sure what the reaction would be. I think they'd think I've lost my mind. I think this one is just sweet. Who cares what other people would think, you're both consenting adults enjoying yourselves and I wish you lots of fabulous sex. Not only sex, but also light bulbs get changed and shit. I cut a hole in my mattress when I was a kid and tried to duck it. Hit the bed springs on the first stroke. My dick just curled up back into my body upon reading that. Beat on some random dude for money. Was the random dude the one who paid you? Would you pee on someone for $500? Ooh, sure, I guess. Okay, there's this guy Steve. He's my boss. Can't stand the ducker. Good work 47, now find an exit. I had an orgasm while running away from an angry chihuahua when I was 8 years old. No ejaculating, just the sensation. I spent the rest of that summer trying to get that chihuahua to chase me. Therese gotta be something to this, because my first orgasm was in elementary school when I was supposed to run in a race and forgot and then everyone yelled at me to go run right after it started. Got a weird rush and a very confusing feeling down there. It was years after that when I got my first intentional one. Fear boners are a thing. The classic fight or duck response. When I was 15 and heavily addicted to wow I was like 8 hours into this 14 hours marathon and thought duck it. Made a female knee, stripped down somewhere in the starting area, made her dance and jerked it. Never told a fucking soul that one before. I used to play siphon filter on the PlayStation and there was an area where you're interacting with a female colleague. I accidentally shot her once and she made a noise more like a sexy moan than horrific pain. Shed take a lot of shots before you actually killed her, ergo, a lot of sexy moaning. Then as a young man who unexpectedly hears sexy female moaning coming from a video game, I acted accordingly. Literally repeatedly shot this woman for my own gratification. Not my proudest moment. You ever heard tales of the kid in middle school that jacked off under his desk? Edit, I'm so glad this is my first comment to get seen by thousands of people. Truly inspiring. Yeah, I don't think you realize how little that narrows it down. I personally know at least three guys and one girl that did that in my year alone. My senior year two kids got caught ducking in the basement's janitor closet because they both exited at the same time during class change and left the door open smile plus you know, the cameras too. When I was young, dumb, and very horny I ducked a soccer bopper. With no lube. Thankfully nobody ever used it anyways. Edit, to everyone asking, it probably would have been better than a pillow fight if I had known what lube was at the time. But I did not, so it was not. There was a thread on Reddit yesterday that was what's one thing you wish could come back, that's been run out of production non-existent anymore, my comment was soccer boppers, now I'm not too sure. Nice try hour. I already got to yours, Kevin.